Okay guys, today I'm with Sterling Andrews. And today we're doing another restoration tutorial. Today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to fix the speaker and um, this basically, this guy works fully except he has a bad speaker with no sound coming out of it. And he also has code readers, uh, wires off too. Oh, him too? Mm -hmm. Okay, so both of these guys have code reader wires off that we gotta fix. And then Mr. Squiggles here has a speaker, off, speaker wire off. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with Chunk because he's a little easier to do here. If you need to do just the code readers, it's actually very simple. What you're gonna wanna do after taking the battery compartment off is obviously take the batteries out. There's two screws on yep. the very bottom that we're going to be removing here. Yeah, two screws. Very easy. Mm -hmm. So when we set those aside, after that we are going to be, I take a pretty big flathead screwdriver to gently pry out the back mm -hmm. side here. The nose will come out. The nose side here. Yep, the nose part. There's the inside of Zuzu Pet. Yep. Pretty simple, actually. I don't know what this. Oh, this is a big. Uh, I've never seen this on a Zuzu Pet. Um, it's weird. Usually, it's like on the actual circuit board. Anyways, mm -hmm. so let's see. We want to get to the code readers. So what we're gonna want to do in order to get there is we need to take off. We need to take the circuit board off. Right. So we're gonna do that. I already yeah. have my soldering iron heating up. And I already cleaned off this mat too. I want to make sure that yeah. I've cleaned it while you were inside because I want to make sure that he stays in good right. shape because he's already really white and we don't want to change that. Yeah. If you guys don't know, my Zuzu, my chunk was all drawn. I like drew all over him when I was little. It was really stupid looking. Yeah. So and he also got dirty after being in the garage for years. So you, I can already see the one that's off is that red one. Oh, yeah, it's that red one. Yeah. See that red wire? So let's go ahead and I don't even think I need to unsolder or take that off. It might be easier. Yeah, I'll just take it off. Yeah. So there's two screws on the actual code readers. We want to be careful because the actual parts on the code, like move these screws. Make sure you keep your screws contained. Yep. The actual code reader itself, I'm gonna get a smaller screwdriver for this. Sure. The actual parts, there's like a bunch of parts that can like fall out. Right. So yeah. So that comes out. See. All right. So there's the red wire that's off. So now it's a lot easier. See, it's so much easier to access that. Mm -hmm. And I believe it came off from right here. Mm -hmm. So first, let's strip this wire and get it looking good to solder. Now, I did not memorize the codes here, so I might need your help on that when we test it. Yeah, thankfully, I know some of the codes of the code reader where you can um, make the Zuzu Pet do some of the sounds that it does on play sets while in explore mode. Yeah. I know there's like a video. This is a video by this YouTuber called The Zoo Dude. He did a lot of videos showing like certain Zuzu tricks and tips that I he sure did. thought was very interesting. Mm-hmm. He, he, he especially showed how you can actually do the code readers by hand if you don't have places. Yes. Yeah. But it only works for Suzu Pets that are series one through four. And for four, they have to be old sound quality ones to work. That's right. The ones that are series five through seven, it will not work on them. And for series four that are newer sound qualities, they won't work on that either. All right, so I just... Did, I just um, put the uh, the wire back on. So before we put it back together, you want to test it to make sure it works. Yep. So we're gonna put these batteries in. I'm gonna have them go here, and then can you remind me what? Just just do one right off the bat. Now he's definitely um, pausing though, so that means that it is. I think I'm just doing it wrong, but see how I'm repeatedly spamming it. Yeah. And, oh, of course, except for that. Yeah. Do you want me? Do you want me to help you? I can I can try to get a better. Yeah, go ahead. Here, let me take the camera. Here, let me. I think it is try. working though. All right, let me give it a try. Do it. Here, let me wait until he makes a sound, and yeah. it usually works better that way. Okay, here we go. One, two. Three. Hmm. Might do a little better. 
He's, he, he pauses though, so he's like definitely getting the signals. All right, so we fixed it. Basically what we did was we just re-soldered all the contact points and it seems to be working fine. Now, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Let me do the movie code again. Yeah. Just... It's both, 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 both left. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. There we go. All right, so we're good. So now we can reassemble. So you want to take this so we can sure. get to the reassembly process here. So yeah. now we already screwed in the code readers. Mm -hmm. Then we just need to screw the main circuit board on here. Just yeah. make sure, see how you just got to make sure when you do this, the little. Mm -hmm. We might, we should also take the batteries out when we put oh, yeah. the screws back in too. Yeah. yeah. So basically, these two little springs are for the motor right so you got to make sure that those actually go through on the other side where they're yeah. supposed to let me just grab this one here see that yeah see this is the gearbox these two um, contact points yeah touch those two sensors and that's what makes the right. gearbox work mm -hmm. all right so where do i put these i put the screws over here mm -hmm. all right so that oh gosh I don't know why it's only the Series 1 zoos that have the wires off of the code readers. It was like that for me, too. And it was like all the earlier ones. It was like Series 2s and Series 1s. I didn't really have any other ones, like later Series 1s. Except, right. for, except for my old Yama. Right. But, like, that's an exception. Because that one went down the stairs, as you know. <laughs> Remember that video? I sent Yama flying down the stairs. I think so. I think Shane made the biggest deal about it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now this was obviously a little more, um, you know, this happens in repair. You're like, oh yeah. my gosh, something else happens. But, right. <laughs> but hey, we got it. We sure did. Chunk should be able to register codes whenever he goes on play sets or when you do it by hand. That's right. And then I'll show you a tip when you put it back together. We can't forget the nose, but right. you always... Suzy pets always look cursed when they don't have their noses. They do. <laughs> so yeah, make sure we get that in. I like to grab the nose. And then I like to make, make sure the speaker wire doesn't get trapped under here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like to go like down like this. Yeah. And push under like that. See, those buttons are clicking? Yep. That's definitely what we wanted then. Now let's put our screws in. I'm gonna use the small screwdriver again. I feel like it's easier to use a small one. Yeah. And then after this, we got one more. We got Mr. Squiggles who need, has this problem and the speaker. Yeah. And I'll be curious to hear what pitch he is. I, I think from what I remember, he's uh, between normal and low, but it's been years. So I don't really remember. Yeah, we're about to find out. What a surprise it would be if it was really high pitch. All right, so that's one. Mm -hmm. Here's number two. Mr. Squeakles. Same deal. This screw's already half coming out. <laughs> the same. Yep. Just going to put these screws where they were. Same thing, pry up. <laughs> Nose should come out. Now this one is a little bit different. You wanna do code readers first or speakers first? Should we just do code readers just cause we're right here? Right. Cause, cause like we just, so. Maybe we should do the speaker, speaker first. first so that way we can hear the noise is making sure it Actually, that's a good point. So for the speaker, you guys, you basically, there's like a bunch of hairs in here too. Um, mm -hmm. You need to basically actually take the fur off. Yep. So this whole fur is glued underneath here. Yeah. So we want to... I mean, it. I can see the speaker inside, but it definitely is better to take the fur off um, in order to access it. Do I have any wires off? That, that one's too much. 
And the wires seem to be intact. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and... Oh, oh, this is, okay. This is why it's not working. These are connected. Oh. I bet you it'll work. I wonder if it's just because those two wires were connected. That would be interesting oh my gosh. to find out. Oh, no. So that probably killed the speaker, but, uh... See how these two contact points were, like, mm -hmm. just literally touching like that? Yeah. I don't like how this capacitor looks either. If it doesn't work, then we'll, uh, I'm definitely gonna look into that. But anyways, back to where we're going to get to the speaker. Yeah. We're going to just kind of peel the fur off the bottom. This one's obviously gonna be really difficult, but. Yeah. Let's see. I just grab it, like kind of grab it at one point and just start working my way around. Yeah. Of course, this one's really stubborn though. Mm-hmm. The glue they used on these is like there we go. Yeah, they they use glue inside the fur to keep it attached so it wouldn't probably get loose or anything. They use really good glue too, which is not. They're like, no one's ever gonna take these apart in the future. Right. But I wonder when uh, a lot of the members of the Zuzu Pet community don't really do repairs. I don't really know anybody else besides like people Me who like, in like my tutorials who are like, oh, thanks for the tutorials or whatever. But yeah. it'd be cool that if we could see other people like, you know, getting their things fixed. Right. I'm gonna hold this there because I don't like that just kind of flying around, you know? Yeah. I'm not gonna take all of it off just because I don't need to take the front of it off, but. Right. It's definitely stubborn. But it's getting there. In mm -hmm. fact, I can probably start pulling the back off here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this will help me get the front off. Mm -hmm. Happy 4th of July, guys. Yep, happy 4th of July. I don't think this is probably not going to get uploaded today, but yeah. this is being filmed on the 4th of July. So therefore, yeah. happy 4th of July. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely getting there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't need to get it all the way, but see, there it goes. There we go. And that, see, so yeah, now it's coming. I'm not gonna take the front off because I don't need to. Right. But this is as far as I need to go. Yeah. Now he's now he's almost naked. Basically. So now there's three screws. One, two, three. Yeah. This one's hard to see because it's. I don't want to take the front. I'm not going to take all of it off, but I do need to glue that back on when we're done. Right. But unless you're, like, replacing, like, actual parts up here with, like, the nose, then we don't really need to fix that. Yeah. So here we go. Comes off. Speaker comes out. Mm -hmm. And these, these, uh, this, the, the buttons for the head and the, yeah. the back will also come out. Yeah. So here's our bad speaker. Mm-hmm. What do you say we get a nice fresh? I, I got this out of a parted out Zuzu pad. We're gonna get a parted out Zuzu pad speaker in here. Yeah. I'm just gonna switch them over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put some, okay. Oops. Some magnetic. There you go. Are you excited to hear this thing work for the first time? Yeah, after years. Its speaker has only lasted for a few years and then it just, I, I mean a few, a few months a few and months, then it just yeah. you know all right done. here we go there it is definitely in between normal and low pitch yep that's exactly what i predicted because that's how i remembered it sounding like and then what i'm going to do here is i'm actually turn this glue on and i found this paper here mm -hmm. and i'm going to wrap it around where the wires yeah. Are exposed. Mm-hmm. So those touch, then, you know. Right. It's probably why the speaker died to begin with. Yeah. Someone probably didn't do a good job soldering it all the way. Yeah, whoever was in the factory, factory was not thinking here. Yeah. I need, I need this glue sticks out, so I gotta get some more. Sure. I keep my hot glue in your shoe. Okay. 
Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it just enough to like make sure that the you know. Yeah. That they don't make contact cuz that's probably what killed it to begin with. That's probably why it lasts in only a few months. Yeah. And there was one point that it that it, it that the speaker worked again, but it was so crackly and went haywire too and then it died again. So before we put that back on, let's deal with the code readers. Yeah. So, same thing, we just showed you this. Four screws come off here. Yeah. And it's easier because the speaker's off, so we don't have to deal, worry about those wires going all over the place. Yeah. And now it's we the can red also, one again. Yeah. And now we can also hear the sounds that it makes with the code readers on play sets to ensure that the code readers will work after we solder the wires back on. Yep. And this, I'm not even going to take the thing off. Because I can just literally just put this on like that. Let's see. There it yep. is. I don't know what code that was. I think that's the movie room code. Yep, it's working normally. Sick. All right, yeah. reassemble. Let's take the battery out. Yeah, we got the code readers fixed. Code readers fixed. This thing's fully working after mm -hmm. like how many years? Over a decade now. Yeah. That's so what this must have been. 2009, 2010, 2009? 2010. 2010. Yeah, 2010 was the year we got it, and then you know stopped working ever since. So 14, maybe 13, maybe 14 years later. Yep. We're fully working again. Yep. Although I'm surprised the gearbox never had any problems. Yeah. Even after years, it never it never broke on, on me or anything. Because they're so faulty. Back in the day, they weren't faulty, but they're just so old that mm -hmm. they're just going to... And they, like, from, like, running over, like, rough terrain, so much stress on that gearbox, that's inevitable. Right. I bet you the new aquarium ones are going to also break very easily. Yeah, they probably will. I haven't seen any of those yet. They're they're in stores now. Like, low-key, I want to go look for them. <laughs> they, they are. They're, they're actually at Big Lots and they're Hobby Lots. Lobby and... A few other ones. I have a big loss. I have a Hobby Lobby. We should low-key go look tomorrow. That's We're going thrifting idea. tomorrow, guys, and we can go look for Zuzu Aquarium and maybe mm -hmm. Furblitz as well. Mm -hmm. I, I went to Walmart, and they had all the Series 1s there, but I stopped myself from getting them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They had, At Walmart, they had all the Series 1 Furblitz and the, the Coral and the Purple Furbies as well. Mm -hmm. But I have not looked at Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. for... Uh, Zuzu Aquarium. Zuzu Aquarium. All right, so when you put these um, back in, they go in a certain way. See how it's like? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So this goes in. Like so. It can, it's, it can be a little tricky to do this part, by the way, just because it's a... Uh, I think it's the other way. This one? Actually, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I think the white one is the head and the yellow one is the back. Cause it's actually, no, it's not. I'm pre, I'm, I know it is because I've done this before. See, it just kind of. All right. Yeah, see how like kind of the shape of that, see how it perfectly like fits in this one? Like it kind of like mixed that shape. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. Because I remember it seeing it yellow when we first opened up and the white and the Part, see white part was white. see how it like see that shape see how this is a little bigger than this oh yeah I'm still pretty sure though but I guess we'll try it out we'll see all right so now I got to try to open this without having those all fall out so I'm gonna take this part out mm -hmm. the speaker in mm -hmm. gently 
like so. And I like to have these go have have these go under this under that little thing. Mm -hmm. Just so they don't get in the way. There. And then uh I'm just gonna put one screw in so it secures it. And just to test it, we can actually put it back just to see if the buttons work here. Yeah, like making sure they click and respond like they're supposed to. Oh, uh, that wire. See that wire? Mm. Stupid yellow wire. Yeah. You know, actually, I'm pretty sure that the yellow wire is supposed to go the other way. Which is... Mm. These wires are actually supposed to go like that way. Right. There. There. There we go. Now the screw goes in. So just just to make sure that the buttons are gonna work. Yeah. There's some long wires. Mm -hmm. I think I put the head on backwards. Oh, no, I didn't. It's because that wire, stupid wires in the way. There's a, that yellow wire is like in the way of the button here. The head button, yeah. which is no, like, that's like where they all are. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, now it's clicking. Yeah, now it's clicking. So it was right. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we know that that's gonna work. So now we can put the skin over. Well, first, let's screw these rest of these in. Yeah, and just let's make sure we're still good. See how loud that is? Yeah, way better. That's really loud. <laughs> and let's see what, oh, the last screw's probably still in there, yeah. All right, so. And then the skin goes over like so. Fortunately, this one actually didn't have that weird problem that Chunk was having originally with the code reader. Yeah. It just kind of worked right away, which is very nice. See, now there he is. Now we got to glue the... Yeah, don't forget the nose part once after we glue yeah. the fur on there. So what I like to do is I like to start with just like kind of the side here. Secure it. So that being said, I just want to make sure they also don't get in the way of the wheel, and that should be good. Maybe just do the back here. Yeah. Yeah, the last thing we need to do is the back. I'm not going to go crazy in case this breaks later down the road. Right. You never know. Yeah. So then you'll, because eventually yeah. you'll have to open it up again. Mm -hmm. This guy has been through stuff, so you He's never know. He's been through stuff for sure. Being mute for like over 13 or 14 years. So now let's put it back together. Oh my gosh, be quiet. I think we're on, a, we're on a wire for sure, yeah. So when that happens, you you know for sure you're on one of the wires because it's like clicking when it sh it's like activating when it shouldn't. Right. This one has a tilt sensor. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? Oh. Okay, so yeah, those wires are in the way of the head, I think. Yeah. 
It didn't have the tilt sensor when I uh, yeah. played around with it. It never did. I think I put these on too tight, but... See how it's like clicking, but it's not like... Yeah. So I think I put the shells on too tight. Hold on, let me just... See, it was, it was. There you go. They, they move good. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you think? This is awesome. Feels so good to hear his sounds again after nearly 13 to 14 years being that's used. That's right. All right. So, yeah, that's just kind of what happens with repairs, guys. Something's gonna go wrong, but you know, now they work again, and that's that. Yep. I hope you guys enjoy this restoration of these two Zuzu pets that we worked on together today. And I hope this guy helps you out as well with your own Zuzu pet issues. We're still trying to find reasonable or actual Zuzu pet speakers online that we can purchase because we've been just using parted out Zuzu pet speakers. But eventually, hopefully, we can actually find a source for them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye, guys.